What's up YouTube? In this video I'll teach you how to record with OBS but with no lag. So yeah, this will have some great tips that will help you to record with OBS and have no lag. This is really great for YouTubers that want to grow big in the future and want to like record videos for their channel. So yeah, guys, here we go. Let's start with the video. So what you will want to do is click settings located right over here. So yeah, let me just wait for let me just wait for it to load because I am recording with OBS as you can see and it kind of takes a while when you're recording so yeah. So now what you would want to do is set your theme as default because it's probably the normal one and it's just set as default and it's the best one in my opinion. So now what you would want to do is head over to output and click the recording tab right here. And remember to set your output mode to advance. Before that click your output mode to advance otherwise you won't be able to make nice settings and have pretty simple settings otherwise i won't be able to help you so yeah click advanced and yeah don't forget that so now what you would want to do is head over to recording so keep your type as standard and your recording path so basically your recording path is where your videos will save so for me it's best for it to save in videos you can save it in a folder you have made or whatever you want to save it by clicking browse and just click where you want it to save and for recording format and yeah generate file name without space just uh, untick that so for recording format keep it as mov or mp4 those are the normal file formats that are perfect for recordings to save and that's what youtube sports i believe so mov and mp4 so i say you can use mov or mp4 those are both fine uh, and yeah so for the next thing audio tracks so i have one audio track so just set your audio track as one and if you have more audio tracks set it as two so one is the perfect one in my opinion so for encoder now this is the important part so basically what you would want to do is set your encoder as um the newest one or x20x264 so there would be a small text around the screen that will tell you what you want would want to do but what i would say is set it as x264 and if you have a graphics card uh set it as that so i have a nvidia graphics card and the best the newest one and the best one for me is nvidia nvenc uh, h.264 and for your output so basically what this is is how what the screen size is so like as you can see my screen size just fits in perfectly and if it's like too small too big it won't fit in the box they have given you so what you could do i believe you can click rescale output and it would set the uh set it up for you so yeah for me it's 1920 my monitor is 1920 x 1080 and so i want it to save as 1080p you could do 720p that is perfect for people that lag a lot and their pc can't it isn't able to handle uh 1080p so just keep it at 720p and you'll be smooth and won't be lagging at all now not at all but a bit maybe but i'm definitely sure you won't be lagging at all so now for your rate control what you would want to do is set it as vbr and now bit rate and max bit rate and this area is very important so you have to listen to this closely and just do what i say so don't copy this all because my pc is able to handle 12,000 to 20,000 so basically what you would want to do so if your pc is like not the best uh or it's normal or that what you would want to do is set your bit rate to something like 3000 to around 5000 that is perfect for a pc that's not that best and it's not gonna like your recordings and your recordings won't be as laggy and your gameplay won't be uh very uh stuttery and like bad so if you have an alright PC, not the best, but it's alright, you could set your bitrate as 7000 to 10,000. Now, if your PC is very good and it's able to handle uh, a good recording, what you would want to do is set it as 12,000 to let's say 18,000 or 20,000, so something like that. So uh, normal bitrate to 12,000 to max bitrate up to 18,000. So now your keyframe interval, so you would want to set that as zero because yeah just set it as zero now preset profile these two now what you would want to do is set this as quality so this will be how your videos like save as if the quality is very good if you want it to save as good quality and if you wanted to set it as my max quality i would say don't do that it will give you really good recording and say it as very good recordings and like very good quality but i would say just keep it at quality because it's great and it's not going to make your recordings lag or stutter it's going to be perfect for that for profile set it as a uh, high uh, not main baseline just high for this i don't know what these look ahead psycho visual tuning are just tick them if you have them or if you don't just ignore them so now for gpu 
Now for GP, what you would want to do is set that as zero and your max B frames at two. Now let's go and head over to audio. So for audio, you would want to set your audio bitrate as 160. I searched what's the best audio bitrate. 160 is the perfect one. And I, could, I don't know why, but 160 is the perfect one. So just set it as 160 and your video will do fine and your audio won't be very bad. Now head over to uh, video. So now for video what you would want to do is set your base canvas resolution as 1920x1080 actually. No, you would want to set it as what your PC or your monitor size is and how it would take out. So for aspect ratio it should always be 16 ratio 9, 16 by 9 for both of them. Uh, if it's under or higher that means it will make these uh, like out of place and very like not good. So you would want to set it as definitely as uh, um, 16 ratio 9 because otherwise it won't be good. So if you want yourself not to lag that much, set this as 1920x1080 and set the output scale resolution as 1920x720. So this 1080 and 720 both mean so if you want your videos as 720p, uh, set it as 720p. 720p is very good for people that want their videos to not lag at all, be very smooth and uh, not the best quality but be very smooth and people will enjoy them and watch them and if your pc is all right you can set it as 920x1080 and 1920x1080 for downscale filter set it as lank source sharpening scaling sharpen scaling 36 samples so just set that as that and for common fps value set it as 60 because you don't want your videos to be very slow and like move at very bad quality so fps stands for frames per second so you don't want your frames to be very bad so now for hotkeys. Now I used uh, hotkeys because they're very helpful and I don't want to always head over to this and start recording and stop recording. So what you would want to do is, if you want it, whatever is useful for you. So for me, FT is very good for start recording and to stop the recording um, uh, end home or the end button is very helpful for me. You can set it to start streaming, stop streaming or whatever you would want to do. This is very helpful and could come like you could have real capture slideshows and everything. So yeah this is perfect like switch scenes and everything. So yeah now stream. So this is not this is useful for streaming. So you will want to set your service for YouTube slash YouTube gaming or if you want to if you want to publish on Twitch set it as Twitch. So right here and uh, over here Twitch. So set it as YouTube slash YouTube gaming and your server as primary YouTube ingest server legacy RTMP and your stream key. Now never share your stream key with anyone. With that key someone random could upload and live stream on your channel literally. So never ever show your stream key to any single human being because you don't know unless you trust them. So because with your stream key they can literally it's your password to allow them to record on your channel basically. So yeah now pretty much that is it that is everything that you would want to do just remember to not ruin the aspect ratio otherwise the videos will be like very like out of like uh out of the base or the canvas and it won't be perfect for you so yeah you can have cool little images on your like um videos or recordings and it will literally just stay on there forever unless you want to remove it so i would like to keep it over here so yeah guys pretty much that is it i wish you all enjoyed oops i just increased that so yeah okay let me just yeah pretty much that's it remember to hit apply and otherwise it will just ruin it so yeah click apply and perfect just like that so yeah guys i wish you all enjoyed hopefully this was very helpful for you and in the future uh i'm Tell me in the comments what what's your problems because I would definitely be able to reply to all your comments. I'll try my best to reply to all the comments otherwise I would literally literally not be able to reply to every single comment but I'll try to reply to comments that are required that are needing help like stuff like how do I do this what should I set my max bit rate what should my bit rate be if my piece is not good why can't I do this jump anyways so yeah and our channels have our my channel has membership so yeah be sure to buy a channel membership because you have special perks, special videos, and you get like insane uh, perks. Like, join when you join my Discord server, you'll instantly get a rank on if you have connected your uh, Discord server to your YouTube. And pretty much that's it. I wish you all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up, because I work really hard on these videos to give you the best experience and like 
I just give you the best tips. That's all I want to do is make your life 10 times better than it is. And I just want you guys to enjoy and like have fun whilst you record. So yeah, guys, loads of people. I have made one in the past, but it had OBS had updated and there's many changes. So I thought to make another one and loads of people were asking. So I wish you all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe, thumbs up and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Good. Bye.